Seven decades since the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, around 80 new fragments of the ancient... AI has cracked the code. The Dead Sea Scrolls, which have puzzled experts for generations, now reveal shocking truths. What we've learned is far more than just ancient texts. It's a game changer, and it could change everything you thought you knew about history. Hold tight, because what's coming will challenge the very foundations of what we believe. The First Revelation The Dead Sea Scrolls have always been surrounded by mystery. Discovered in 1947 by a young shepherd in the rugged hills of the Judean desert, the scrolls offered glimpses into ancient Jewish life, philosophy, and faith. For decades, scholars have pieced together the fragments, uncovering sacred texts and apocalyptic prophecies. But despite their importance, these ancient relics were far from fully understood. In 2021, a breakthrough occurred. Armed with cutting-edge AI technology, archaeologists and experts turned to artificial intelligence to help decode the remaining fragments. For years, these scrolls were trapped in crumbling parchment and faded ink, their secrets hidden from view. AI, however, has revealed much more than expected. The most shocking discovery? These fragments were not just religious texts, they were blueprints for resistance, encoded with messages and prophecies that have the power to change everything we know about this pivotal time in history. What exactly did the AI uncover within these ancient fragments? What was so shocking that it could change the course of history? The story of the Dead Sea Scrolls begins in the Cave of Horror, one of the most foreboding and significant sites in the Judean desert. Its name is no mere metaphor. This cave earned its title after archaeologists uncovered nearly 40 human skeletons here, victims of the Roman siege during the Bar Kokhba revolt in 132 CE. These individuals, trapped by the Romans, faced certain death as they took refuge in the cave a tragic final stand against an empire they couldn't defeat. In 2021, after decades of silence, archaeologists returned to this ominous site. With ropes and climbing gear, a specialized team descended into the cave, where the temperature and harsh conditions had preserved what seemed to be fragments of parchment. These weren't just remnants of faith, but encrypted texts of survival, possibly hiding messages about defiance against the Roman oppressors. The secrets buried in this cave might be far darker than anyone could have imagined. What could these ancient fragments hidden in such a tragic sight reveal about the resistance against the Roman Empire? What were these rebels trying to preserve? Faith or something more? The Role of AI in Decoding the Past For decades, scholars painstakingly analyzed the Dead Sea Scrolls, piecing together fragments of scripture, philosophy, and prophecy. Yet the process was slow and imperfect. Many of the scrolls were so fragile that critical pieces remained unreadable. Enter Artificial Intelligence with the advent of cutting-edge technology, researchers turned to AI tools like Neuralink and OpenAI, designed to enhance and reconstruct damaged texts in ways that were previously impossible. Using advanced imaging techniques, AI uncovered patterns invisible to the naked eye, revealing the original Greek and Hebrew scripts hidden beneath centuries of dirt and decay. The AI system didn't just read these fragments, it decoded them, reconstructing lost sections and translating the text with astonishing accuracy. But what it uncovered was far more than just ancient words. It revealed hidden meanings that weren't immediately apparent. The scrolls, once thought to be primarily religious, were now proving to be documents with much deeper, more political and prophetic implications. What startling discoveries did AI uncover in the Greek and Hebrew fragments? Were these texts truly just scriptures, or were they encoded messages meant for survival? The AI's analysis of the Dead Sea Scrolls didn't just bring clarity, it revealed something far more explosive. Among the texts decoded, there were hidden messages of resistance encrypted within the scriptures themselves.
These weren't just verses of prophecy or religious teachings. They contained coded warnings, calls to action, and even instructions for survival designed to evade Roman censorship and control. Some fragments detailed apocalyptic visions with phrases like the mountains will quake before him and the hills will melt away. At first glance, these appeared to be typical prophetic language, but when placed within the context of the Bar Kokhba revolt, these warnings seemed far more urgent. They were not just about divine judgment. They were reflections of the rebels' fears, a reminder of the empire's relentless pursuit. These scrolls, with their cryptic verses and hidden symbols, were a call for spiritual resistance and perhaps a means of survival in the face of overwhelming Roman power. Could these prophetic texts be more than just religious warnings? Were they a rallying cry for the Jews who were desperate to preserve their way of life? One of the most striking revelations from the scrolls was the linguistic fusion between Hebrew and Greek. While most Dead Sea Scrolls were written in Hebrew or Aramaic, many of the newly decoded fragments were primarily Greek, the language of the Romans and the Empire's dominant force. However, these scrolls weren't just translations, they represented a hybrid, a fusion of two very different worlds. In the face of Roman occupation, the Jewish people adapted, blending their sacred texts with the dominant cultural language of the time. The scrolls revealed a cultural bridge where Jewish traditions remained intact but were simultaneously infused with the broader Hellenistic world. This wasn't just a religious adaptation. It was a cultural survival mechanism. By writing in Greek, while preserving the sacred Hebrew language for key texts, the rebels were maintaining their identity and belief system while also speaking the language of their oppressors. Was this fusion a survival strategy, or was it a bold assertion of identity in the face of Roman domination? What did this tell us about the Creator's view of the Empire and their faith? The AI analysis didn't just reveal the text, it uncovered the personal struggles of the scribes who wrote these scrolls. Through meticulous handwriting analysis, AI revealed unique features in the scribal style. Subtle tremors, irregular strokes, and pressures applied to the ink. These were signs that the scribes were under immense stress, possibly writing in hiding, under threat of capture, or even while physically weakened. The irregularities in the script suggested the scribes were not merely copying texts, they were sacrificing their personal safety to preserve something far more important, their faith, their identity, and the survival of their people. Some of these texts, especially the apocalyptic passages, showed signs of rushed writing, a clear indication of urgency and fear. These were not just scribes preserving religion, they were witnesses of a people in peril trying to keep their world intact during a time of crisis. What could these signs of stress in the scribes' writing reveal about the dangerous environment they were working in? Were these scrolls more than just religious texts? They were the cry of the oppressed? As the fragments were pieced together, it became increasingly clear that these scrolls were not just religious artifacts, they were political statements. Within the coded messages, some scholars began to see a deliberate attempt to challenge the Roman Empire. Hidden among the sacred verses were references to rebellion, freedom, and the restoration of Israel, messages that seemed to speak directly to the Jewish resistance fighters of the time. These scrolls, particularly the fragments from the Twelve Minor Prophets, didn't simply predict the future, they were caused to action. The prophets' visions of a restored kingdom were not just symbolic, they were aspirational, urging the Jewish people to rise against their oppressors. By embedding these messages into sacred texts, the rebels ensured that their messages could survive Roman censorship, allowing them to spread underground. These scrolls weren't just about surviving, they were about fighting back. Were these scrolls a secret weapon in a spiritual battle against the Roman Empire? Or were they a safeguard for future generations, preserving the rebellion's ideology? 
One of the most profound aspects of the newly decoded Dead Sea Scrolls is how they preserve Jewish identity in the face of near total destruction. The Bar Kokhba revolt was a last stand for a people fighting for their survival under the crushing weight of Roman imperialism. As the Romans advanced, many Jewish rebels sought refuge in the desert, hiding in caves like the Cave of Horror. The scrolls they left behind were not just texts, they were a cultural lifeline. These texts weren't just written to survive, they were written to protect a vanishing identity. In a world where Roman forces sought to erase their culture, the rebels used these scrolls as tools to keep their faith, heritage, and beliefs alive. The scrolls were coded not just to preserve scripture, but to preserve a people's story, their very existence in a hostile world. Was this a spiritual act of defiance or a desperate attempt to save a culture on the brink of collapse? How did these scrolls offer a glimpse into the resilience of a people? As AI sifted through the fragile scrolls, one thing became abundantly clear. These were not the work of a single group, but the product of multiple communities scattered across the Judean desert. The handwriting analysis revealed subtle differences in style, ink composition, and even the materials used in the scrolls. It was as if a network of scribes, refugees, and rebels had worked together to create these texts, each contributing their part to a larger mission of cultural preservation. The fragments suggested that the scrolls were not kept in one place, nor were they meant for a single group. Instead, they were meant to be shared, passed from one community to another, carried from cave to cave. AI revealed that these scrolls were more than just relics. They were part of a larger, decentralized movement to preserve knowledge, history, and faith, one piece at a time. How did these scrolls travel across the desert? Was there a secret network of resistance fighters moving these fragments? And if so, who were they? As AI's analysis of the Dead Sea Scrolls neared completion, the full weight of their significance began to emerge. These were not just texts preserved through time, they were a testament to human resilience, a document of survival etched into fragile parchment. The scrolls, hidden in remote caves, were much more than religious writings. They were emblems of defiance, a reminder of a people who fought to preserve their identity and their beliefs in the face of overwhelming oppression. The AI didn't just decode the text, it brought to light the human story behind each fragment, revealing how each piece of scripture, each carefully written line, was a small act of rebellion, a small step toward the preservation of culture in an empire bent on erasing it. The scrolls may have been buried in the sands of time, but their messages were never meant to be forgotten. Now, with AI's help, the scrolls are no longer silent. They are speaking louder than ever. But are these revelations just the beginning? What other secrets might still lie hidden in the forgotten corners of history, waiting for AI to uncover them?